The Fripp kids, Robert and Patricia, I am one year, one month, two days, 12 and a half hours older than my brother. My brother says, I'm not surprised my sister gets paid to tell people what to do. She was a very bossy little girl. We had the reputation of being the best behaved children in Wimborne. He grew up to be a famous guitarist. I grew up to be a hairstylist and have the honor of being one of your speakers. And as you heard, I used to be a hairstylist. That was my yellow page ad at the time when the way you got business was to have the most appealing yellow page ad because that was long before the internet. And I started my speaking career by training hairstylists for a hair product company. And I was explaining to my brother one day that when I taught people to cut hair, they'd have to cut the guide make the framework, do the lining and the edging, and then add the magic. And it didn't matter how seasoned and experienced they were. You have to prove to me you can cut the head of hair exactly the way the framework that I teach you. And then I said, once they prove they can do it, they can do anything they like. And he said, well, of course, sister, because you always have to master technique in order to abandon it. So if you ever hear someone say, oh, that speaker is great and he breaks all the rules. No, 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 you don't understand. There aren't so much rules for speaking as principles, age old principles that have always been there and always will be there. And what your speaker who you think is breaking the rules is doing is understanding the principles and making different theatrical choices than you think is normal.